You're watching Fox 4 News at 10. A Collier County ice cream shop back open after temporarily being shut down due to health code violations. Dairy Queen on Golden Gate Parkway in Naples had numerous high priority violations, including live roaches found in the kitchen. That's according to a recent health inspection report. Four in your corners, Tony Sadiku has more on what the inspectors found. Tony. Lisa, the inspector found three high priority violations and multiple other intermediate and basic violations. According to the report, some customers I talked to today, not surprised. It's a hot day in Naples, so you go for some ice cream, right? Three six packs of chili bars and a six pack of Buster bars. They might be melted by the time I get home. But not everybody's running to their local Dairy Queen for a blizzard in this heat. One woman telling me she spotted a crawling surprise the last time she went inside this DQ last year. As we were ordering ice cream, a friendly little bug ran across the counter. So we've never been back. A health inspector found more friendly little bugs last week. Among the violations, accumulation of black green mold like substance on or around the soda dispensing nozzles. Four live roaches found near the AC handler and six live roaches in the kitchen near the microwaves and reach and cooler. Oh, geez. I don't doubt it. It doesn't surprise me. Health officials temporarily closing the restaurant due to the violations. Many of them were corrected the next day, but the latest report on the Florida Department of Business and Professional Regulation website shows a follow-up inspection is required because the restaurant hadn't shown proof of required state-approved employee training. Florida law requires restaurants to prove all their employees are certified in handling food no later than 60 days from when they are hired. When I reached out to the restaurant this afternoon, a manager told me they'd been cleared of the violations, then hung up the phone. So I reached out to corporate. A spokesperson sent me a statement which reads in part, food safety and quality as well as the safety and well-being of our fans and staff are top priorities. The franchisee of this location has worked with their local health department and have corrected the items noted in their most recent health report. I mean, the stuff I got was in boxes, so, I, <laughs> so it's fully wrapped up, so I'm not, I'm not too worried about it. It's Florida. It does come with the territory. To find out how to check your local restaurant's latest report card, click on the link to my story on fox4now.com. In Collier County, I'm Tony Sadiku, Fox 4, in your corner. Well, after